I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose, and why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk! Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly! <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time! Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Man, that stung! I told you we shouldn't have come here, and you listened! I'm fine. I'm fine. What in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And Daxter. You finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What?! There's only one person who has studied dark eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three Sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it, if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. 
I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you! Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! advice at any time during your quest. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. That's a Blue Eco vent! More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Go caused the door to open. 
open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have lain dormant for years. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos, or one big green one, to increase your health. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Hey, baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them. I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. Hey! It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journeys yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. But don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys? See them? See how they're not moving? 
That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, 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 you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, oh and, and another thing. If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. moment you were my muse. Your what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about your size, full of spunk, and crazy as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, without my muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around, I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power cell if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute. We are not going back to Misty Island. Are we? orange-bellied ring friend. You know, yesterday I saw some terribly vicious creatures capture a mother flat flat near the beach. Now there's this poor little orphan egg sitting in a nest at the top of the cliff and I can't get to it. If you could climb up there and push it off, I've piled some hay down at the base to catch it safely. Do an old lady a favor and I'll give you a power cell. Open if you power up with that zappy blue eco stuff. Cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. <laughs> oh, it's you. Oh, just resting my tired bones. I've been trying to get those unre yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? Then gotta bring in the crops from the June basket. <laughs>
That lazy farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. Just sitting on the rocks over there. a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already.
over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with him. Line up the beam by pointing it at the next tower. Hey, we can follow the beam to find the next tower. go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam.
little lightning marks on those posts, and there's lightning coming out of that vent over there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff, so it ain't gonna help us!
there must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. Patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing ring, and now they're gobbling up my catch. No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters, and then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. You want to try the challenge? There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. Hey, if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers and you'll poison the whole darn catch. Steady boy. 
Radio! Almost there. Here goes the big one! Steady, boy! Hold steady! You did it! You caught 200 pounds of fish! Not bad for a couple of landlubbers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock whenever you like. What a wonderful sight! I thank you! And the entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you've earned a power cell. You uh, want to make a contribution? Good. A, a sizable one, I hope. You! Yes. Oh, it is a sizable contribution. I, well, 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 I, I, I just hope this power cell adequately represents my gratitude. I see you two are back to make the trade. Good, good, jolly good. Hey, you have the uh, precursor orbs that we agreed on? I hope you put this hard-earned power cell to good use. Cheerio, ta-ta, bye-bye.
those poles up from below.
That's it. Just a little further. Come on, push the egg off the cliff. Good job. Now meet me down here by the egg. Oh my. I hope the poor deer's okay. Here's a power cell for your valor. No, no! No, 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 no! Look, isn't that cute? It thinks you're its mama. Ah, I'm not your mom! You see any feathers here? Oh, love at first sight. Oh. Listen, boys. I'll take this little chick back to the village with me and work with the sage to take care of her.
my heat shield. Meet me by the entrance to the fire canyon by climbing the cliff behind the farmer's house. Bring the power cells and hurry. My father says he's seen more lurkers around. Trust me, it's a whole new experience when you're covered in fuzz! I think we'll make it back!
those, Jack? Back on mines! Rule number one, always avoid the mines!
the muse! You saved her! Oh, you really are the best. Here, take this power cell. I won't need it now that I have my inspiration back. cells needed to power my heat shield. Now be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire canyon gets pretty hot, so keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Get those balloons to cool off! There's scout flies out here, too! Ooh, see if we can catch air off those workers! I'll ever get used to that teleporter tingling sensation. Hey! That looks like the Blue Sage threw a party. Oh my! Rock Village is on fire! One heck of a party. No, no! I mean Rock Village is being bombarded with flaming boulders! Oh! And it looks like the Blue Sage is working on a levitation machine to move them. Assuming it's operational, we're gonna need power cells to fuel it. I guess you two are going to have to find some more. We'd better take a look at his notes. Jack, go check on the villagers, then come back and give us an update. And take the fur ball with you. 
Well, the situation here stinks worse than a lurker's armpit. Before Blue Sage's disappearance, he journaled significant trouble in all of the surrounding areas. Of particular interest to me is the dark eco-infection of some innocent plants in the Precursor Basin. Kira will teleport your Agrav Zoomer to the nearest transpad. Ride the Zoomer to a green eco-vent, and then carry the green eco to the corrupted plants. That should heal them. Don't miss a single plant, or the infected ones will slowly reinfect the healthy ones. And Daxter, start cleaning up in here, and don't forget the corners. Apparently, the precursor structure just off the coast leads to an underwater lost city. The Blue Sage has been trying to figure out how he can bring one of the chambers to the surface, but he was never successful. You should check it out. Uh, aren't there a lot of uh, lurker sharks in that water? Why? Are you scared? Me? Of course not. Just looking out for Jack here. You, uh, you know what a chicken he can be. Well. If you swim out over the coral reef, I doubt the lurker sharks will bother you. They don't like shallow water. look like a couple of capable fellows. I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We ask you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the Precursor Basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We care. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough?
I lost my shorts on this so-called hero's big fight against the monster up there. But trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That wager pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power sell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet online. My big comeback. Beat the record time racing Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. For that, I'll give you another power cell. <sighs> oh, my aching head. I thought that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy! Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on! But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stunning failure, he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton boulder, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue eco, and a mechanical genius devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way. But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, good, good job, tough guy. But um, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> all right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Oh, wonderful. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved with that creature again. Oh! <laughs>
parasol from the geologist. was talking about. Okay, 
Your moment of gloating is over. Get on with it!
beat the record time! Molds, that's awfully good of you. Here's a power cell to help you out. Now I can get back to my research. Oh, you have the orbs. Here's a power cell we agreed upon. It would fall. Now here's your power cell, and I can go collect my big payoff. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! These are all to help me win my way back out of this barrel. Here's the power cell I promised. Thank <laughs> you. 
charge. Oh, <laughs> 
talking about this. Jack, run! The dark ego is rising!
only three more tethers to go.
That dirigible's barely hanging on. Let's find the last tether. Hey, 
give me a rat. friends enjoy my beautiful swamp I own these here parts everything that doesn't sink into the mud that is <laughs> judging by the smell I'd wager your bathtub sank in the mud long ago what's a bathtub anyway I got bigger problems now seems some nasty lurker varmints are grousing about snatching everything they can get their grubby little paws on Scaring away my pet hip hog, Farley. He's been missing for nigh on to a coon's age. I've been putting out his favorite snack, but those ornery swamp rats keep stealing them. If you could keep those pesky critters away long enough, I just know Farley will smell them vitals and come back. Will you help me out? Good. Those rats will be back any time. Shoot all them rats. Keep them from eating at least one of them snacks.
work, Jack. Your uncle would be proud. That was a giant arm from a precursor robot. I've never seen one in such good condition. I can't imagine what the Lurkers wanted with it, but we sure didn't want them to get it. If you keep this success up, nah, you'll still fall short of hero. But keep trying. It's endearing. enough power to lift that boulder. There we go. Now be careful facing that monster lurker at the top. Wait! Uh, I'll stay here and protect Kira. Jack, I think you're ready to handle that monster without me. Oh, really heroic of you.
like the lurkers have rigged the whole pass with explosives. When you reach the volcanic crater, be sure to visit the Red Sage's lab and activate the teleport gate so that Father and I can join you.
always wonder if I'm losing body parts in those things. Holy yakow! The Red Sage's lab looks worse than the Blues. Well, it definitely looks as though there's been a struggle here. <laughs> I'd hardly call it struggle. Would you, dear sister? Certainly not. The Red Sage gave up with so little effort. No fun at all. Gull? Is that you? You've finally gone off the deep end, eh? And Maya, I told you the Dark Eco would affect you both. Mm, nobody ever listens to old Samos. What have you two done with the Blue and Red Sages? Don't worry about your colorful friends, you old fool. They're perfectly safe in our citadel. Our special guests. They have graciously agreed to help us on a little project. You are wrong, Samos. Dark Eco can be controlled. We've learned its secrets, and now we can reshape the world to our liking. You can control Dark Eco by itself. Even the precursors. Until now, we've do. had to scrape by with what little Dark Eco we could find near the surface. But soon, we will have access to the vast stores of Dark Eco hidden deep underground. Not the silos! Yes, the silos. They will be opened, and all the dark ego of the world will be ours! But that's impossible! Only a precursor robot- Oh, don't look so upset, Samos. We've got big plans for you. <laughs> Doomed. We may all be doomed. If they open the silos, the Dark Eco will twist and destroy everything it touches. We simply must get to their citadel to stop them. The fastest way there is through the lava tube at the bottom of this crater. A few more power cells and your Zoomer Seat Shield should get you across the lava safely. All right, my boy. You know what to do. Take the flea bag and go round up more power cells. Great balls of eco! There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! Hey guys, keep collecting power cells. They're the key to continuing our journey north. Ah, there's lurker troops in the mountains. Oh my! Glaciers? Huh. We've got to get to Precursor City. Thank <laughs> you. 
recording. Duh, I think we got visitors. You think, Willard? Howdy, strangers. Uh, passing through? Uh, us two. Well, we gotta be moving on. Nothing to see here. Duh, I thought you said this was a priceless gem worth Willard! Actually, we want power cells, not gems. We got four of them. Do you want them? What Bird Brain here is trying to say is, we may have a few power cells laying around, and we might be willing to part with them for 90 orbs each. Where have I heard that before? Hey, how do you two geniuses expect to get that big gem out of here anyway? Well, smarty pants, we got 12 more years of digging to figure that out. Uh, Gordy, wouldn't it take less time if you dug too? Oh, all right already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Oh, all right, already. Here's a power cell for those orbs of yours. Can we take a break? Oh, oh, yeah, I got it this time. Uh, here's a... Here's a... A power cell! Yeah, yeah, what he said. That's it. You cleaned us out. No more power cell. Why don't you two make yourselves useful? Lurkers have been excavating the dark caves over there. Seems they're looking for precursor artifacts. They can have the artifacts for all I care. For all we care? Well, it feed you, bird. All I care about are gems. But I ain't gonna be able to get the cave's gems, because when they're through, they're gonna collapse the place. If you take out the lurkers chewing out the support beams, you could save the cave for me. I'll beat it! I've reactivated the gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Use it whenever you want. Hey guys! By my calculations, it's going to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel.
Foxes are bad news! 
crystal to get some light. <laughs> Don't let the lights go out. <laughs>
the last dark eco crystal.
I should be able to supply the heat shield with enough power to stand up to this lava. But the shield still has a limit. It will now withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees, but no more. So keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures would do to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? Hey, what about us? 
Don't you think we could look for a safer route to go, Sentinel? Look, I've released more cooling balloons into the tube, so you can use them to keep the temperature down. And don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Yellow Sage's lab. We're counting on you. him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Uh, yeah. That about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack? Be careful. Yeah, we will be. For jokes, Dexter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark ecosystem. 
silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world.
Rocket's launcher! Yeah. 
real heroes now. I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Paul to help Dexter. You're too late, save us. Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have the key to creation itself. This is madness! Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you! It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two travel all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack, take the elevator up and stop that robot!
mine ego! That could be the stuff to chain me back! Or, it might stop that robot. Stay fuzzy, save the world. Choices. Okay, fine. We'll save the world. But do it quickly before I change my mind! like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, None of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Wow! Put it on ice, big guy!
Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells. It's so beautiful. I'm a 